Right here, one part, Martin Brooks, Kevin in the line on the commentary side of the field. The one come in, the ball goes in, it's out of the back. First two to pop out the Zimbabwe side. But it's the uh, number one for the New Zealand side in Beth Beaker. Oh, she lost it as quick as she had it and straight into the racket as uh, Suzanne Sargent puts the pass out. Oh, Kelly Rathman. Uh, she took that inches off the turf, the left hander. She's been hard marked there by two New Zealand players. On the great point, he just spins out, has to take a check in centre field. Suzanne Sargent comes in to lend some assistance. Kelly now, Kelly with the ball. She's been hard run there by the Kiwi players, but she finds a bit of space now. Ducks and dives and wins, puts the bounce down, hits them up, Kylie Fire. Where is it now? It must be personally close to that bounty right on. Kelly snaps that one from underneath the nose and right down to the ground. So he says, I'm going to throw it in again as we wait for the number two to come into line. Up by having this one for Zinn Austria. And we're going to go around right for the Murray Dukes. She's right down the big race. She's going to take it control. The number three, Sue Gale, comes in, gives a show on the line. Kelly Rathman good enough to take it. The left hand at Dutch Dark Reef. Sue Gale, strong position, number three. Kelly Rathman hits the one in the play. This year is going to be the number three for the Kiwi side. Sue Gale, she makes the motorcycle to pick up now. Get one back for the Kiwi side, put the bounce down, she didn't come up calling for it. She's going to be first to it, but she's left it on the deck and popped down in front. Kelly Rathbun, she rides over it, as does the Kiwi number two in Sarah Newman. But the ball is on the deck and it's now Sue Gower. Sue Gower with the ball now, probably a cut of swings there from Kelly Rathbun and Suzanne Sargent. Sue Gower now rides down, she finds a bit of open space, she'll be looking to link up with uh, Beth Pika, sorry. Sarah Gow, Suzanne Gow, the pass goes down, it's on the deck first, she's going to be Sophie Sarge in the left hand as she runs out of space, first to throw back in. But unfortunately, not big enough. Patrick O'Sullivan blows his whistle and said, Kiwi ball from here. So it will be Beth Beaker now. Beth Beaker puts a little lob out, sits up finally for she couldn't get on the first attempt, but took it on the second. Beth Beaker v Sophie Sarge on the left hand up. Beth Baker looking to level things up. Opening stages of this first trucker here between New Zealand and Zimbabwe. Beth Baker just ducking, diving, weaving at the top of the D. Sophie started doing a wonderful job. Oh, Beth Baker with the overhand. Oh, whatever Kelly can do, she did the same. She hit the post, the ball's on deck. Oh, Sophie Sargent with a great little take, the left hand up. Puts it out, she's got Suzanne Sargent out in front. She makes no mistake of the take. Suzanne Sargent now with the ball just ducking. She's got her opposing number two in our Laura Newman Dempster chasing her hard. Puts the big high one out to Sophie Sophie Sargent, the left hand, and she's got the ball now. She's got black shirts all around it, but Sophie just checks up. Goes back sitting on the knee, little pony Vieri. Nice horse that one. Sophie Sargent with the ball. Looking to link up. Oh, Suzanne Sargent has come out of nowhere, took the three. But the pass wasn't too flash and the ball's on the deck. First third is going to be uh, no, Kelly Radford. But I think there may be one too many players in the area. And it will be a New Zealand ball. Umpire Patrick O'Sullivan marks his spot, calls play. Oh, the big one out straight in the number two racket in uh, Laura Dempster. Laura Dempster with the ball riding down. She's got Beth Baker out in front. Sophie Sargent making ground quickly, the little pass. Oh, Beth Baker couldn't take it. She's left it on the deck, but she will be first back to it. Beth Baker now rides in. Makes no mistake of the pick up this time. She'll be looking to make this one count. New Zealand, Zimbabwe, sorry, two with the one nil lead. Beth Peaker riding round. She's got Sophie Sargent in the with no easy task out the left hander. Sitting on quite a neat little pony. Beth Peaker just chopping, ducking, diving, weaving. Rides away now, finds herself a bit of open territory. Beth Peaker heads out of the corner. Sophie Sargent just sits off, little game of cat and mouse. Beth Baker, oh, and loser on the turn now, oh, out in front, but it's hooked in the racket. Lots of fortune there for Sophie Sargent. As Beth Baker looking to make this one count. Sophie Sargent doing a wonderful bit of work in defence there for the Zimbabwe side. Beth Baker right out now, now the overhand shot, and this one goes clear. 
Don't suck him around from the New Zealand side or on the ball, right apiece. Yeah, four minutes of play there without a goal. And finally, New Zealand get one. I think it's the longest period we've had so far in this World Cup without a mat, without a goal. And it might well be the longest one you see for the whole tournament. So we'll come back and line up on centre field. And move them in. Ball goes in, it's down on the racket, it's down on the floor, it's snapped up by Laura Dempster, that new New Zealand number two shirt. Going downfield towards the 30 yard line, got Beth Peaker running on the side, a little pass goes to Le Beth Peaker and goal! New Zealand get the second on the board much quicker than they got the first, and they make it 2 1. So I'll come back to centre field again, line them on the far side and on the minded Brooks. Telling them to wait and then walk in. And then they come together, ball goes in, it's out the back. Sophie Styles, a big turn out the back, lovely pick up, a time will defeat her. So they'll come in together. Black and the white shirt come together and it goes out the back and into the game. Malcolm is the first of the New Zealand. He can't pull it in. Oh, Mikey Klein off B, offside pick up. Long arm comes out but he's immediately dispossessed. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Dean Garam in New Zealand number one. In his goal scoring area. Now he's going to find a way on Mikey Klein in that number three shirt. Dean Garam puts down the power. Klein's on the front. Throws a big one out the side. First one on the board for New Zealand men. Yeah, very quick goal out of the New Zealand side. Mikey Craner was quick on that one out the back, but uh, he was dispossessed just as quickly as he got it. And luck to fortune for the New Zealand side, it rolled in the area, and Dean Gale was straight on that like a bat kid on a cupcake. As they run up now the far side, the ball goes in, it's off the racket to the one, pops down, two Kiwis are first to it, but the sideline makes them both. Rightio, so line up once again. The ball's in now, this time it's up the racket to the two's first turn. It's going to be Danny Swan, Nick up there. He's got Shane Hill on him, chasing him hard. Mikey Cradle comes in and says, leave him alone, mate. Danny Swan now riding down, looking at Lico with Andy Baker. Andy Baker, the pass goes in from Danny. Oh, great pass on the turn. Andy Baker now. He's got Gary Malcolm to contend with. And if I could dust him behind him, got a little back swing, but the umpire whistle sounds and it looks like it's a free goal. So three goals is inside. They get their first one, didn't go through the six, but it counts all the same. Well, they got the first one inside, they got the second one inside, and they got the third one inside. Yeah, so Zimbabwe get back on level terms for the shocker. Thanks to the free goal. Oh, yeah, lovely yeah. snap up the front by Andy Baker. Andy Baker takes it straight up the front of the line out. Goes down towards the very line, line, checks up, bounces. Little Hills does brilliantly. Oh, he's going to find a way on going up and drives down the front and powers it through. Oh, That's a lovely little Hills, but Andy Baker's on. All these players, of course, are foreign horses. The UK PA members, the UK Public Association members, providing horses for the entire competition. So these teams have had just four days to get used to these horses and then play them out here in the World Cup. So we'll go line up on umpire Patrick O'Sullivan. Ball comes in, it's down the middle of the tunnel, it's out on the all-black side, and it's left on the floor, following through behind is Dean Gower. Dean Gower says thank you very much. If none of the rest of you want it, I'll have it. Goes down towards the 30-yard line, bounces, pulls it back in. Mikey Crane is there now with him, marking him up, big back swinging in, but doesn't make contact. Dean Gower just checks up top of the air, for double power, big one out the side again, go to the say it's good. New Zealand get off the hurt. Yeah, Dean Gower just let them all scrub that one out. They all left it behind. He was just straight on to it, said, thank you, mother, for the rabbits. As he went down and popped another one through for the New Zealand side. Four goals to three, they lead. Second chucker now. Martin Brooks stamping his authority on this match.
Lauren Brooks thinks he's seen a bit of gold out here. He wants someone to pick it up. Turns out just a big giant rock. Righty, here, back to go. So I'm holding back. Martin Brooks calls him in now. As time on his call, the ball goes in. Oh, Andy Baker once again. He is fast as lightning this front. Andy Baker right down. Got the big one there from Dean Gallup and the umpire whistles down. No, it did it. But Andy Baker, he's still with the ball in the area. Andy Baker now has got Gary Malcolm to count with a lot of him on the 10. Right there, nice big goal on that third player. So a uh, great bit of work, Andy Baker took that one from behind his ears, went down, slapped another one on the board to the Zim side. That levels it back up and four goals of pieces they line up on the peanut gallery side of the field. The ball goes in now, it's got the racket to the ones and on the deck and it's uh, Dean Gower, Dean Gower, he slips it back to Shane Hill. A lot of experience out here for the New Zealand side as Darty Swan, the young fella, comes up. Gives Shane Hill a little bump and says, Andy, where are you? Andy comes in now. But Shane Hill just steps around and bows. Shane Hill riding down, looking to link up with Dean Gower. Dean Gower makes his way in the air and now Shane Hill's right there to lose the pass to him. That was clear, they linked up well there. Played together a fair bit, these two know where they're going. So New Zealand pinch back the lead, five goals to four. The uh, goal for goal stuff at the moment. Every time Zimbabwe level it up, New Zealand take it back one ahead. The ball crunch! And the umpire calls him in the game. Tell him to get back behind the tee. Both teams charging over the tee at the moment. Ball goes in. Down to down the back. And it's going to be Mike and Crane. Uh, Mike and Crane, a big pick up, and he's in a forest of timber. Being chased by Gary Malcolm and. Dean Gower has to go back into his own 30-yard area and unpass whistle sounds. And I think there's a goal of a ball out of that for a head to the head of Mike Agrina. So Zimbabwe get a free goal out of that one. Five all the score. Ball comes in, it's out the back. Mikey Coyne went over past over turn just. Oh, lovely pick up by Gary Malcolm. He made up time there, but then he comes high. Bounces off the sticks and comes down. We'll see what the umpire says about that. Ted Black Ball says it came off a Zimbabwe stick last. It's going to be taken by their number one and goal scorer, Dean Gower. Dean Gower. Oh, thought about the pass out of England, changed his mind. And Martin Brooks says he didn't play. And no one by Von Brooks says he ran over Mark and didn't play it, so neutral lineup. And that's time at the end of the chatter. So five minutes at the end of the second and we've got a hand of the match on him to go. Yeah, this round, I think this was kept as the match of the round today, ladies and gentlemen, and it's certainly living up to it. Right over ready to get underway here in the third chucker with five goals apiece. They come in the line, the ball goes in, it's out the back first, so it's going to be the left hander in Sophie Sargent. She picked that one up, she's got Kelly Redford out in front. The little pass straight in the racket, Kelly, oh, the overhand shot. That was pretty to watch, ladies and gentlemen, out the back. Sophie Sargent picked it up. Kelly Redford out in front for all good number one should be. The pass went in, and Kelly with the overhand up. Straight through the big white stick. So a quick goal out of the Zim side, that makes it six goals to five. Right, they come in again, the ball's going in, oh, this time he's trying to back it to Suzanne Sargent. Suzanne Sargent with the ball, she's got black shirts on the side of her, she's looking at her, the little push back, who's he going to do, Kelly Rapid comes in, oh, Take it. Bet the young whistle sounded. Patrick S. Owen says you're all at fault there, so I'm going to line it up. 
The ball goes in now to the back. First year once again will be Sophie's side and she gets a time bounce. Let the little Tony have it set and says, let's go. Go wrap it out in front now. They ride down, look at Lee Jones. The pass, oh, a bit hot, strong, hot to go to handle. Fast back to us this time, going to be Steve Gow and she's got all the time in the world. Just trots up, picked that one up now. Waits for her two players to get back into centre field. So Gow with the ball. She's got Kelly Radford, just spins away from her. Pushes a little pass out of first. Oh, Kelly Radford! Where'd she pull that from? Right down now, intercepted it, put the bounce down, comes up Kylie for her. Kelly Radford now, the number three, this with So Gow to get around. Oh, she gave a little back swing there, but didn't connect. Kelly Radford ducking, diving, weaving. Goes one way, goes the other. So Gow doing a wonderful job in defence there for the New Zealand side, holding her up. Giving Kelly one hell of a tough drive. Kelly Rafford tries to drive around non-stick side the shot. Oh, cooked in the racket. It's waved away. Wonderful bit of defence there by C. Gower. Yeah, great defence from a New Zealand number three. She blocked Kelly up every way she tried to go. C. Gower there as a wall in defence. C. Gower, of course, played in the previous two World Cups for New Zealand. A lot of experience out here. They're joined by three younger girls in the New Zealand team and they're doing another good job at the moment. And takes a 30 yard clear throw and they gain more, gain more ground because Zimbabwe did not give the first call on that ball. When you've got a 10 metre clear, 10 metre free throw, you've got to get first call on that ball. Zimbabwe cut across the line and didn't get too good, clean call on it. And therefore, Beth Peaker gets a free throw from the other 30 yard line. Beth Peaker takes a little free throw over the top of to herself. Now she's got to find her way around Sophie Sargent. These two girls know each other very well. Used to play together in the UK before Beth moved off to New Zealand and Sophie moved to Zimbabwe. So they know each other pretty well. Sophie Sargent and Beth Peaker up against each other. Beth Peaker spins it. Sophie Sargent just loses her little pony a bit. And Beth Peaker slots it through, makes it 6 all. Yes, yeah, so uh, once again we are uh, back to level pegging. <laughs> Beth Baker, a wonderful bit of work in uh, the area there. Just lost Sophie on the turn and once again the overhand shot is what we like to see. <sighs> the two just get a bit confused as to which team they're playing for. But they've sorted it out now and they come into line. I'm proud Martin Brooks said I wasn't happy with it and it's going to be a New Zealand ball so it'll be Beth Peaker to take it. He says get away from here, play. Oh, it's Lauren Dempster, she had a panic, no one marked her up, but the pass wasn't too good if it's on the deck. Oh, they all leave it behind. Sue Gower comes in, who's going to pick it up? They're all riding over and Sue Sargent, she leaves it there once again. The number one Beth Peaker come in, they've all, I think just about every single one of them are in over it. The ball's on the deck. Martin Brooks blows his whistle. And it looks like it's going to be a Zimbabwe penalty. Not too sure what that was for, but it's Kelly Rapper with the ball. She turns around, lobs it up, didn't come up quite. Oh, a lovely chase. But uh, once again, the umpire's blow the whistle says you did not take that from the designated spot, so I'll send a loop, neutral line, the ball goes in, oh, both three thought they had it, but it's Sue Gow with the ball, she cops a ton of swings now, puts a little pass out of Beth Peaker, Sophie Sargent comes up, the man on the line, Beth Peaker just checks in behind, Kelly Lester comes up to get a one, the bounce goes down, comes up, Kylie rides into an open goal, and that's all clear, New Zealand hit the lead, seven goals, play six. <laughs> Yeah, New Zealand getting the notice in front, seven goes to six. Zimbabwe not capitalising on the free throw. And New Zealand winning out of a neutral line out. Now they'll come back to a line out in midfield. Umpire calls them in again. Two teams come together, ball comes down the centre. It's loose on the floor, and it's going to be a pick-up by is Laura Dempster for New Zealand. Laura Dempster lets the Bay Hulls run down midfield. Going towards the very on line, Beth Peaker puts the work on Sophie Sargent and turns back to take the pass. Now, drives down the front of Sophie Sargent, pumps it through, makes it 8 6. In the dying seconds of chucking number three, New Zealand give themselves a two goal lead. So, 8 6 to New Zealand at the end of the third. And one hell of a ball game.
But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, now's the time to get behind your team. Give them a bit of support, they've come all this way. The least you can do is vote for them. As they come into play now, umpire Martin Brooks holds them to hold up. You still just wait for a straight line up. He gets one now, the ball goes in off, straight to the racket of the number three in our Gary Malcolm. Gary Malcolm with the ball, just turns off Danny Swan, gets him one for his trouble. Gary Malcolm now, he's got any Baker sitting there waiting for him. Gary Malcolm with the ball in full control. He's looking to link up with Dean Gower. He rides now, now, Mal uh, Mikey Trainor's got him blocked up there in the area. Danny Swan gives him one, oh, just got out of the back of the racket, but it's on the deck. Dean Gower made no mistake of that. Dean Gower, the number one, with Mikey Trainor. Just ducks, dives and waves, top of the D, thinks about the one over the top, oh, the overhander, Mikey Stainer almost reached it. But uh, Dean Gowers blocked that one through, so good New Zealand tied a three goal bumper that the start they wanted. Yeah, New Zealand getting to a good start in the full. There's still a lot of time for Zimbabwe to come back into it. Down 9-6 at the moment, ball goes in, it's loose on the floor. No one can lay a racket on the moment, now someone's got it, it's Dean Gower. Dean Gower flips, flips it out to Shane Hill. Shane Hill finds a bit of space, being chased by Andy Baker. Andy Baker swinging for all his worth, dislodges the ball, the ball's loose on the floor. But Gary Malcolm comes and mops it up. Shane Hill wants it back, Shane Hill gets it back. Now Shane Hill will look for Dean Gower on the three yard line. A full load of Dean Gower. Dean Gower now going to find a way around Mikey Kleiner. Tries across the base of the goal, checks up. Mikey right there with him. Dean Gower comes back to the right. Now let's the ball is right out into the corner. Drives up in front again. Mikey Kleiner just staying right in between him and the post at the moment. There you go, checks up, looks at the post, twists one way, twists the other, picks about the one other side, but nothing doing. Comes back across. Goes for another little circle, turns back. Gay sees Mikey Kleiner just sitting in between him and the goal. There you go, picks up one over top, big twist by Mikey Kleiner. Creates a little bit of safety, flicks it out the side, makes it 10 6. So New Zealand building themselves a bit of a lead. I'm by holding time. So I'm by holding time. Have a bit of a word for players. So come back together again. New Zealand and Zimbabwe. Ball goes in. It's loose on the floor, and it's still as Andy Baker tries to lay a racket on it. They're trying to get out. Someone has dug it out. It's Andy Baker. Now he's getting his yeah, way out of traffic. Surrounded yeah. by all black shirts. But Andy Baker, oh, a big wood laid on by Gary Malcolm. Just dodges the ball. Danny Swan holds it. Has to pick it back in the midfield. Now he lets his horse run. Oh, but Tom push the pass out. He just rolls over his racket. Mikey Crane is just clear of the way. I'm coming through. Big swing comes out of him. But he holds onto the ball. Mikey Crane and breaks it downfield to Ruth Abedi on the pass with it. Andy Baker thunders it through the post. Pulls one back, makes it 10 7. Yeah, that certainly wasn't the cleanest bit of pass that's handy, but it got the job down for the Zim side. Lucky Cranor just went through that ball, picked it up, Danny Swan doing a wonderful bit of work on there. Number three and Gary Malcolm took him out. Left Andy Baker with the easiest of goals. As the Zim's take one back, 10 goals to 7, the ball goes in. First third is going to be Mikey Crane on the big long arm stretches out. He cuts one from Gary Malcolm as he spins out. He loads him on the turn now. He's got Andy Baker on oh, the Zim throw. Precision passing, that's what he wanted to say. The bounce goes down. Oh, in front, all clear. Mikey Crane will take a bow. I don't think Andy Baker had to move his racket. Mikey Crane will throw that one in the length of the field. So that's my work for cheer, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it is. Get behind them. Make some noise. Ten goals, plays eight. The ball goes in now. Top the racket to the toes and out the gym side. First to be Gary Malcolm. Gary Malcolm with the ball now. Rides around. Loses his own throw on the turn. He thought about the bomb out of Dean Gower. Oh, but Andy Baker comes in. Takes him out. The ball just held up shortly. And Tony Swan straight shot. Picks that one up now. He thinks about the big bomb when he shakes his head and says, No, I'm going to hold on to this one. He's got black shirts there all around him now. Thinks about it. Mikey Crane on course for the ball. He gets it to him. He comes through. He's got Andy Baker there. Oh, lovely little pass. Straight in. Open score. Another guard on the side. Now they're starting to click now, these Zim boys. Lovely teamwork there. That pegs it back. Ten goals, plays nine. 
Right, time vehicle back on. Ball goes in. It's out of the back. He'll be first on the game. Malcolm drives the game. Malcolm picks it up. Mikey Crane and throws it. Hell of a lot of his way. Doesn't get anywhere near the stick boat. Now, J.D. Swan comes in to try and get him. Here comes Andy Baker for pass. It's gone to Shane Hill. Shane Hill downfield to Dean Gower. Dean Gower pulls it in. Dean Gower driving towards the goal. Baby the through. New Zealand responds with a lovely passing move of their own. And pull it out to 11-9. Yeah, both sides are starting to leap that well in centre field. Now one of them gets into trouble. They just pass it out to the open man. And then they uh, deliver it down to the one and... Let them do the rest. Let them go. Plays now in New Zealand favour. Dying stages of the first chuck as they line up now on the far side of the field. The ball goes in. It's uh, up front half to Andy Baker once again. He's been quick all game there. Andy Baker right down. Took the bounce. Oh, how did he get that one, ladies and gentlemen? But unfortunately, he couldn't cap it off with a goal. So that one's been waved away. It almost deserves a goal. I'm not too sure how he picked that one up. And it doesn't matter now because it will be Gary Malcolm. Go Sullivan now, of course. Play from here. Gary Malcolm, the number three, to bring the ball out. He decides no one bleeds it, so he just takes it himself. Gets the kind bounce, comes up. Danny Swan comes in to give him a bit of attention now. He rides down. Oh, getting very close to the sideline, but once again, flicks it back to Shane Hill. It's Shane Hill, he's got to be able to ball this chucker now. Shane Hill looking to leap that with Dean Gower. Yeah. But that is time, ladies and gentlemen, that is time. Radio now, Martin Brooks calls him in the line. Right here, time on call, now the ball goes in, it's out the back, first two, and Sophie Sutton, oh, on the go, she's left an off the she's got Kelly Redford out in front, of see her here as the pass goes in, Kelly Redford right in an open goal, and that's all clear. That was literally 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, very quick on there, the Zim girls. Let's go, 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 Sophie Sargent out the back, of course to Kelly Redford, and straight between the posts. So they'll go line up, 11-10 the score. Ball goes in, and up by whistles go. And I think they'll say, throw it in the game. They say, hold time. Graham wasn't straight, he went straight down the New Zealand side. Time goes back on, this time it goes down the centre of the tunnel. This time it's loose on the Zimbabwe side, but... Oh, it's left on the ground, Sue Gower takes it out. Sue Gower turns, heads downfield, looks for a number one in Beth Finger. Beth Finger running the big wood laid on by Kelly Redford. Ball comes loose, but it's going to be Laura Dempster. He goes back to the bus, she leaves it on the deck. Sue Gower's following him back and says, I'll have it back. Now drives back towards that 30 yard line. Beth Finger's there waiting. Pass goes across to Beth Finger. Beth Finger immediately under pressure from Sophie Sargent. Races towards the goals. Sophie Sargent. Overshoots slightly, Beth Eaker's got a better check on her and just turns back to the goals and shoots it through. Right, ball goes in, it's out the back, lovely turn out the back from Sophie Sargent. Ball left on the deck though, everyone's going over it. And it's Sue Gower who comes back to win it. Sue Gower goes downfield, looking for Beth Eaker on the 30 yard line. Beth Eaker gratefully accepts the pass and shoots it through. 13 plays 10. Yeah, a couple of quick goals there to the Kiwis. He strolls back to that three goal buffer. Right here, the crowd's really starting to get vocal now. It's what we like to see as the ball goes in. It's uh, all the horses kicked it out straight in the path of Laura Dempster, the number two for the Kiwi side. She makes no mistake of her rides around. Kelly Redford comes up, gets a bit of a bump, trying to push her out of play. Laura Dempster just throws the sandbag down and says, Will back pony. Laura Dempster now still on full control of the ball. 
Sir Yao doing a wonderful job there, taking out our Sergeant and Sergeant. But Laura Dempster now, she's in a bit of a, she's in a bit of a trouble. Flipped the pass out of first page. Oh, didn't go to her. Kelly Rappers just sneaked through. Swerved on that one, the left hander. Best speaker comes up. Calls the order up. Sir Yao comes in and says, let me give her a bump. Kelly Rappers now, but the one fire whistle has sounded. Off to play, Kelly, off to play. Looks like he's uh, been the Kiwi player for using all excess of the elbows. And Kelly Radford from the top of the day just pops that one through. So back to 13 goals, plays 11. Wonderful bit of pressure there by the Zim girls. Forced to turn over and Kelly Radford done the rest. The ball goes in now this time, oh, Sue Gow, she just plucked that one out. Safety Sergeant comes up, oh, the big bomb straight out in front of Beth Beaker. How's it going to set? She rides onto it, has to wait for it to dribble into the area, oh, but it's flicked out of her racket. We'll wait for the umpire's decision and make wave, no goal. As time out is called. So it looks like the umpires have said that is a goal. So that makes it 14 goals, 11 now. Lost the fortune there for the Kiwi side as they line up on the far side. A fly patch goes Sullivan, throws it in. Oh, the ball down the back. Who's going to be first to it? Sophie Sargent digging hard with the force on the deck. And it's uh, oh, Kelly Radford. She come in. She picked it up now. She rides down now. Kelly Radford comes out. She's got a bit of open field in front of the bounce. The trap. And that's all clear. Quick the play there by the Zim girl, they take it back. One more coming. So, Zimbabwe pull one back, make it 14 12. Right, they line up again. Ball goes in, it's out the back. Right, Kelly Redford takes a free throw to herself. Now she finds herself in some all black traffic. Going downfield, Kelly Redford. Towards the 30 yard line, got back feet of the company at the moment. She'll have to pull away at the 30 yard line, but in comes Sue Gow to replace her. Kelly Redford makes the bounce, pulls it back in. Drives across the base, it goes, throws a big one on the side. The goal is so good. So they go line up on the far side. Ball goes in, it's there, down in the middle. Everyone's digging through at the moment, no one can lay a racket on it. It's still down there, being driven towards that far sideline, and that's time. Time at the end of a chucker, 14-13 for score. Couldn't be much closer. Radio, 14 goals, plays 11, New Zealand favourite as they come into line, the ball goes in, oh, Andy Baker once again, he rides down now, sets the party like Joe Malcolm comes in, gives him a big hit, Andy Baker puts the bounce down, couldn't take it on the first attempt, gets it on the second, oh, oh, tip throws it right inside the boundary, thinks about the shot, but opts against it, Joe Malcolm comes in, just to go, Andy Baker now, Andy Baker with the ball, looking to level things up here in the sixth chucker. Ducks in, goes six side off, it's about a shot to show him to Sydney Harbour. Andy Baker. B, Gary Malcolm. Oh, Gary Malcolm, thought about the swing. Andy Baker, ducks down, non-stick side now. Lock that one for him, that's all clear. 
That's the start of good news in Bobby's native. Four ain't goes at pace. Still with plenty of trouble riding in the six chapter. Yeah, that's just what the Zimbo was needed at the start of the six. And have a Andy Baker lightning fast at the front of a line out again. He is so quick up the front. Right, ball goes in, it's down on the drag, it's picked up by Gary Malcolm for New Zealand. New Zealand making their way downfield, Gary Malcolm checks up, being chased by Andy Baker. Andy Baker lays him a whip but only manages to lose his own stick. Flicks it across to Shane Hill, Shane Hill onto Dean Gower, nice little pass in here by New Zealand. Now New Zealand number one, Dean Gower's got to find his way on Mikey Cooney in that number three shirt. Checks up, right towards the post, Mikey Cooney's there in solid defence. But Dean Gower just pulls back the arm and bangs it through under the horse's neck. Makes it 15 14. Yeah, one goal of pace so far this chuck out. New Zealand holding on to the slimmest of margins. Still plenty of time remaining. Get behind your team, ladies and gentlemen. Now's when you want to be breaking on. Andy Baker once again. This kid is unstoppable. Andy Baker right down. Cut the big head. Put the bounce over 30 yard line. But the umpire whistle has sounded. No, it hasn't. Oh. Andy Baker over here. Did your open goal and slept another one strong. So Andy Baker once again. I think that's probably his trade is chucking now. And it levels it back up at 15 goals apiece. As I line up on the far side, the cloud there is starting to get close to the ball goes in. On it's Graham Keith. Graham Keith comes in again, gets his first position. Puts the pass back to the big long arm in Mikey Cradle. He marks down now, looking to link up with Andy Baker. The pass goes in. Has a great pass and a great pass. Andy Baker goes six side. Oh, cuts a big twin there from Gary Malcolm. Gary Malcolm now just sits off him. Andy Baker, what are you going to do? He just holds up, sticks the horse in the gut and says, let's go around the front. Gary Malcolm says, no, I don't think so. Shuts the gate. Andy Baker goes another little ride. Andy Baker out. Gary Malcolm's horse is going to get a hang on. Andy Baker's just going to around the front. And New Zealand hit the lane. 16 goals, 5 15. Yeah, Zimbabwe getting ahead. 16-15, these two men's sections giving it everything the last shot, the horse should give it everything. Come together, Paul goes in. Oh, oh Mikey Crater, the number one of Mikey Crater pulls it up. The big over on the field to Andy Baker. Andy Baker in a 30 yard line, bangs it. It's a horrible bounce, it's gone back in the midfield. But Andy Baker comes out of the cover, he's not going to get it. Oh, Shane Hill grabbed it briefly. Then the racket was laid in. Right out 
to look like it's going to be a New Zealand ball in Dean Gower to take it from the 30 yard line. If you're looking to make this one count, Mikey Tradle comes in off Dean Gower, got this shocking bounce. First is on the ground, first will be Mikey Tradle, he couldn't pick it up, the ball's on the deck now. As they both lay in, it trickles out over the sideline. Up by Martin Brooks says they're going to throw this one in. As the countdown begins, the ball's in there. Dean Gower, can he come up with it? But the siren sound. And Zimbabwe run out winners, 17 goals to 15. Wonderful game of power across, ladies and gentlemen. New Zealand held the lead for most of the game, but the Zimbabwe's just found six gear right at the right time.